going in, the armed guards going in, and you see the supplies going in. Why are they not getting to that specific location? I don't know. It's one of the first stories I've ever covered where, where questions as simple as, why do the people on the easily accessible bridge not get food and water and don't even get instructions of where to go to get food and water and medical attention? It's the first time I've ever not known the answer to that, to that and I'm not sure there is an yeah, answer yeah, in the air for them to go yet. Where do you go to get those answers? Who's in charge? Who do you ask? Where do you go to get information? I don't know, Sean. There's a, Alan, there's a command center here, and, and I, I guarantee you they're, they're doing their dead-level best uh, with what they have to work with. There are lots and lots of rescue workers in town. There's lots of food, but there are lots of people who are not getting it. And why is that? I wish I knew, Alan and Sean. I, I, I don't know. After the storm, it was a beautiful, sunshiny day. Sun then all of a sudden, he come to war. The storm didn't do any damage. They only did wind damage, but the storm didn't do any damage down here. Like I said, it just went. The water came after the... After the, uh, the, the day after the storm, that's when the water came. I saw it coming. We mm. saw it coming from up the street. Mm. All the way where we were in the hotel. The water came after. So they, they, broke, they broke the levee. They didn't give a damn about the people who were still living in this community. Some people who had their own property. They took a little bit of it that they whole opportunity of coming back and making something out of that. Because they just destroyed them. Yeah, they blew them bitches up. People were staying right there. They didn't give a fuck if they was living. All they thought about was making more money about rebuilding after that shit happened. They damn sure didn't. They probably blew the levees and, and behind some money shit. But, you know what I'm saying? All you can really do is stay true to yourself and keep trying to strive. You know what I'm saying? See humans with no humanity to doom in reality. Chalked it to the tragedy and plotted on a strategy. Think it run on batteries. Click is carry to rural patterns. Immortal standards for when I vanish like, like any freeze. freeze. Can it? Nobody breathe in that air yet. Stare yeah, at a pupil till they puke from seeing my rebuking. Mixed mootness, mucus music. Sick of chewed, you fucking lose it. Proving stupid. Smart and fluent. At the loop, controlled by who, man? Who sees it like I do, man? Kick and push, push like, like Luban. Shout and scream about the schemes they pulling over you, man. See this all for you, man. Encrypted in the mystics. I went spooked in with the missing in the infinite dimension. Sean, I, I can't emphasize what Shep just said enough. He said it exactly right. There is no earthly answer that anyone can understand why these people, after six days, are still in this filthy, filthy, miserable convention center. Why are they still here? That's, that's what I've been through, y'all. I've been through the storm. And in the convention center, it was horrible. We had no bathrooms. The bathroom was piled up to here with oh. waste. Oh, my God. We had to go. If we found a box, we had to go use it in a box. We had to go in a corner behind a door to use the bathroom. It was so nasty in there. Ooh, it was it was terrible. What I've been to in the storm, I stayed here and I'll never do that again. What I went through. They won't let them walk out of there because I'm standing right above that convention center. And what they've done is they've locked them in there. The government said, you, you go here and, and you'll get help. Or you go in that Superdome and you'll get help. And they didn't get help. They got locked in there and they watched people being killed around them. And they watched people starving. And they watched elderly people not get any medicine. And so got to realize all through this, a lot of people are mentally, mm -hmm. mentally, suffering because of loss of home, right. nobody care about you, this, that, and the other. How I many people taking medicine? Because of How depression. Many lost their How lives? many lost their lives? How many parents out there, what the, would you call it, the unclaimed dead? The gentrification is real. They just trying to get rid of my people staying back here, man. They got to put up their places, they got to put up their Walmarts, they got to put up their McDonald's. And how we going to do it? Yo, we got a flood coming through. Let's flood these niggas out, man. And that's how I feel. I was reported. 
Last scene, fleeing the scene, laid back like cram knees, scheme for the cream by all means. Bet I treat the karma golden. Jesse Owens, wicked high, stir the potions, flowing five oceans, let it soak in. See these tissues scarred on the boulevard. Vagabond and who you born? Born in Babylon, ducking bullet swans, but I got LBs of blue trees. Got the chickens licking off the kettle sleeves, questioning plickers off the salads and the celeries. Breathe a levy breeze like who the fuck is settling? I'm better ring for days of judgments, but not then up the substance. Teaching why you subbing when I'm subbing. Through your no days off, no skipping or cutting. And I'm not blaming anyone. I'm telling you what's happening. They have set up a checkpoint at the bottom of this bridge. That this is the bridge that takes you from New Orleans over into Gretna, from Orleans Parish into Jefferson's Parish. It's the only way out. It's the it's the connection to the rest of the world. And they've set up a checkpoint. And anyone who walks up out of that city now is turned around. You are not allowed to go to Gretna, Louisiana, from New Orleans, Louisiana. Over there, there's hope. Over there, there's electricity. Over there, there's food and water. But you cannot go from there right, to Chef, there. I think the government will not allow you to do it. It's a fact. I want, I want to get some perspective here because earlier today, the images were. That is all, perspective. Hang on a second. That is all the perspective hang, you hang. need. Do I understand how they treated us when we was in the convention center? Like we were in a war. They had machine guns. I, I don't know what you call them, them guns, but the Red Femus was on our building. And they came and told us, if anybody do something, we were just going to shoot you and throw you on the street. They treated us really like we was in a war. They shot a man right outside where we were standing. They let him stay right there. And when we left the convention center, we had to walk over that dead body to go get on the bus. That's, that's what I've been It was terrible the way they treated us. It really was. Down here, it was terrible. Embracing the basics, tight as braces, any standard, break it, innovative. If no pass in sight, then it's created. Architect of my matrix, this all connects me to phases in my life. I'm too precise to be trifled by life's maze. It's crazy. Still a feed your family, then you a jack man. Turning nothing to something, the story of a black man. And that's just the first page. Hoping we can make a difference. Mine is the subtraction of dignity for a lesser given purpose. Hope is worth it, not worthless. Houston is a larger city tonight as the welcome mat remains out for Katrina's evacuees. But it will be taking a toll from the lost revenue at the convention center to canceled events to simply overcrowding. We'll have more on that in a moment. You never know how people treat you when you go in some other states that you've never been in. And they call you, boy, oh, the Katrina people here, this, that, and other. They call me no Katrina. We got enough to deal with. You come to Katrina right. people, yeah. you know, you, you don't know how people was mishandled, misused. <laughs> You never know how your life could have been if that never happened. I came a long way still, traveled with my plickers through the night sky, high black scorn in my heart, locked in a chamber. And ever since my grand passed, more drunk night, sticky green bud, token and papers, though I'm patient. Got my faith in God, the wall on it, brawling brass knuckles to the face, had them lying on the pavement. Dog dreams with a hound dog chase, man, no one can save me. Throw the guns off, safe that still penny pacing. Hot box in the pace of box with the pigs, know they hate and bitches basic like my old three cable. Hot black, just another night at the table, embracing my failures. Against the odd, another shot at the kill, at the kill love. It really impacted me by, by showing me that things can be temporary, physical things can be temporary. Not to really put all your values into the physical things that you acquire throughout your lifetime, but like, you know, to really hold some spiritual value. This is it. This is it, no sugar coating, no political spin, no Republicans or Democrats, people suffering, let them go.